Hello and welcome to a quick tour of the File Replication Pro Management Console interface. This management server may be located in Dallas, but we can access it from wherever you might be. The URL to access it is the hostname or IP address colon 9100 as you see here. Once you get there, log in with your password. As you come into the server overview, you will see servers that were auto-discovered on the local LAN segment. To add a server, just click Add Server. Enter the hostname and IP address and add. The server will appear in the server list within a few moments. Next we will want to add a job. First we'll define a job. A job is a source server and a source folder combined with a destination server and destination folder. How simple can it be? There are also advanced tools for more complicated jobs. Now let's add a job for ourselves. First, give the job a name. Now, even though we are in Dallas, we will use the interface to select the server in New York. Next, we'll browse the server in New York for the folder that we wish to replicate. As you can see, FRP strives to make powerful things easy for the administrator. Now we'll select our job type. Remember, we discussed that FRP allows for pushing data one way or syncing data. We actually have four types of job. Move, copy, one way, or two way. Next, we'll select our destination server and folder. Again, you can see how easy it is to browse the remote file system and select the folder that you want. Next, we'll schedule the job. In setting the schedule, we give you a few options. For Windows and Mac users, you can set the job to work in real time. That means FRP will listen to the operating system, and as soon as a file has been saved or deleted, FRP will replicate that change. You can also schedule a replication at a time interval. We provide exception times and repeating intervals in days, hours, and minutes. Let's take a peek in the advanced settings. It's in this area where you can include or exclude specific file types or folders using regular expressions. This gives you some serious flexibility in your jobs. FRP supports running scripts both before and after a job on both source or destination server. This is a very powerful tool to integrate with other tools you may be using such as backup processes or boot ISO creation. You can also throttle the amount of bandwidth FRP uses if you choose as FRP attempts to be as fast as possible and uses as much bandwidth as you let it take. It is also here that you can choose to compress files or encrypt files during the transfer. FRP uses 128-bit AES encryption. I hope you enjoyed this brief overview of File Replication Pro. You can find out more about the specific features on our website, FileReplicationPro.com. And if you would like to discuss your specific situation, feel free to email us at support at FileReplicationPro.com.